Hello there and welcome to another one of these Lexical Lab one minute English videos. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website www.lexicallab.com to find out more about the online courses we offer. Over the last couple of weeks, me and my wife have been watching an Amazon Prime series called My Brilliant Friend based on a series of novels by Elena Ferrante. It's set in Napoli, Naples, in the 1950s and 1960s, and the story revolves around the relationship between these two young women as they're growing up and coming to terms with life in the situations they find themselves in. We're currently on season two, and you get a very detailed look at the terrible marriage that one of the main characters, Leela, is stuck in. She's married to a brute of a man who batters her, called Stefano. But, as my wife observed last night, she doesn't always make things easy for herself with a very uncompromising positions, and sometimes, clearly, goes out of her way to antagonise her abusive partner. As my wife put it, ah, sometimes it's six of one and half a dozen of the other. In the old days, a dozen was a way of saying 12, and it was a common way of counting. So you'd often count like, you know, you'd buy a dozen eggs or a dozen bread rolls or something. So six of one and half a dozen of the other is another way of saying it's six of one and six of the other. And we often use it when we want to say that we think both sides are equally to blame for a bad situation that's occurred. It's a phrase I often use when I'm talking to my kids, sometimes while I'm trying to work or make videos like this one. I can hear my kids bickering in the other room and squabbling with each other. And there, invariably, at some point, I reach the end of my tether and I go in and say, what's going on? What's the problem? I then get three minutes of, he said, well, she said, well, he said, well, she said. And afterwards, I tend to say, listen, I'm not interested in all the he said, she said. To me, it sounds like you're both winding each other up. You're both as bad as each other. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Enough. It's also a phrase you often hear in football uh, or football commentary or when you're watching football. Maybe the referee decides to give a penalty and you disagree with the decision because you think, well, maybe there was a little tiny bit of a foul, but the player who went over was also pushing the guy who sort of knocked him over. It wasn't a clear cut penalty. It was six of one, half a dozen of the other. I've also heard it used in TV dramas when there's a court case and maybe there's a situation where, you know, two gang members have been involved in some awful fight that's led to one of them being really seriously injured. And as the jury are listening to the evidence coming in, they basically end up deciding that you know both sides were to blame. Both sides were equally unpleasant. It was six of one and half a dozen of the other. And in those situations, you can't convict. You have to acquit. If you've enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Please share it with your friends, your students, your colleagues on social media. And in the comments section below, we'd love to see examples of how you might use six of one and half a dozen of the other.